Hi there, this is Mrs. Piper, and we're on to the next step of creating our clay mask. The next step is going to be to cut out a template for the face shape. So again, I have my sketches, and I decided to go with this shape for the head, which is a little bit wider up at the top and more narrow at the bottom. So now, I have to take a piece of 8 by 10 newsprint paper, and for this section you'll need the newsprint paper, a pair of scissors, and your armature. So, and you'll want to keep your armature pretty handy so that you can make sure you're sizing your mask correctly. So again, based on this face shape, I'm going to take my piece of 8 by 10 newsprint, and I'm going to fold it in half so that when I cut the shape of the face of my mask, it will be symmetrical. Um, in other words, it will be the same on both sides. I'm going to make it narrow at the bottom. And you can draw this out if you would like first. But if it's too big, you can always cut it a little bit smaller. And if you mess up, you can always get another piece of newsprint. Okay, so I'm going to throw this away. And I'm going to open up my template and I can see, let me pull it over and make sure that it's going to fit nicely on the armature. So that seems pretty good. It could be a little more narrow up at the top. So if I need to trim it a little bit, I certainly can. To make sure it's the right shape for my mask. That looks pretty good. So this step involved taking newsprint, folding it in half, using a pair of scissors to cut out the outline of the face shape itself. This does not include any attachments that you would have above the mask, such as horns, such as feathers, such as headdresses. This does not include it. This is just the basic shape for the face of the mask. You need to make sure using your armature that it fits nicely over your armature. So this concludes the next step of creating your mask. Thank you for watching.